right, so it's like 7.30 in the morning. Uh, I'm getting up today to go get an MMA and a kickboxing practice in with Garson. So, uh, yeah, I'm just excited about that. That's always fun and uh, just ready to get after it. This is uh, Garson and I just sparring for uh, MMA. This is after the kickboxing practice. And, uh, yeah, we're just kind of going light right now and just getting warmed up. Uh, nothing real special and just trying to get the body moving. We had uh, kind of stretched and cooled down after the kickboxing. So... We're just getting moving again, you know, getting the blood flowing so we can get ready to, you know, get a little bit more harder work in. And in typical fashion, we, uh, you know, up the sparring a little bit. We've kind of the joke, we like to call it like we're Kyokushin karate sparring. Uh, we don't really hit in the head. Uh, we just kind of go hard to the body and the legs, you can see. Uh, you're not really trying to hurt anybody. We're just throwing hard, though, getting used to it. And, uh, you know, obviously it's just practice, but it's nice to sometimes have these recordings. I have a tendency to like drop my hands when I'm throwing my kicks. And, uh, you know, if I'm fighting someone that really wants to hurt me, I'm asking to get my clock clean. So it was kind of nice to see this stuff and, uh, you know, learn from it. So, you know, you can start recording some of your practices. It's always helpful. But, uh, yeah, this, this is all we got after, really. That was fun and got in some good work on some good spar rounds. Now, you know, just going to go home, get a shower, and we're going to head out probably in like an hour, an hour and a half maybe, and uh, go to Louisville. So I'm super excited for that. So the trip was only roughly two and a half hours. And uh, of course we had to stop, a quick little pit stop, get some Chick-fil-A, cause I love that. And uh, yeah, we made it there pretty quickly. Okay, so we have my dad on the camera. We, what just, up? Got, <laughs> we just got here to Louisville. And uh, so I'm gonna give my picks just for the whole main card. Not gonna dive into it a super bunch, but give a little explanation. Uh, so first bout, we have Miguel Beza and Punale Soriano. Going Soriano because of a uh, Division Three wrestling bias. So first with a Warburg, that's cool. Nice. Uh, next fight, we got Julian Marquez, Zach Reese. I don't know these guys, so I'm just going Marquez. He looks cool. Um, next fight, Bruno Ferreira and Dustin Stoltzfus. Don't know these guys will either, but Dustin's American. And the other guy's Brazilian, so we're going American here. Uh, Bantamweight bout, Raul Rojas Jr. and Ricky Tercios. Uh, I think Rojas probably win this one. I think that kind of sucks because I like Ricky. Uh, he's on tough. He's kind of fun to watch. Unfortunately, I think he could potentially get cut if he loses this one, so... Yeah, hopefully he wins, but I don't think he will. Next fight, we got Dominic Reyes and uh, Dustin Jacoby. I mean, I know Reyes. That, I know him decently. Jacoby, I don't really know that well. Um, Reyes is a glass chin, though. I think he'll probably get knocked out. He'll find a way. Then our last fight, the main event, Jade Cannonier and Nasruddin and Mavov. Um, I feel like everybody knows Cannonier decently. I don't know a Mavov that well. Um, he's ranked. He's got some decent wins, but... I don't think people give Cannonier enough court credit. I think he's gonna beat him up, so I'll go Cannonier decision. All right, here's our seats. We're in the absolute fucking nosebleeds. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. I'm really excited, so let's get it. As you know, on the first bout this evening, three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing to you first, back in the blue corner, a Wushu fighter setting five feet four inches tall, weighing in officially 100. This might be the sickest vlog I've ever heard. Biggest boss that I've been in church. I'm a bigger problem when I cut the script. A nightmare.
Ouais, c'est son boulot pour me discuter. Je pense qu'il a un temps. Where you were going to find that range before you landed that right hand? How did you feel the fight was going up until you found that right hand? I think it's a combat very serré, it's going in the two sides. Is it you that you felt that when it happened, you had to find the solution to put it in the game? Of course, of course, now. Okay, guys, that's uh, essentially almost it for this vlog. Um, I want to give a few final remarks. Firstly, my picks were horrible. <laughs> um, I was two for six on those. I'll say two for four. Two of them were complete guesses, but, um, you know, that's how it goes. You're not always right. Um, the fight was super sick also. 83% um, finish rate on the main card, so... You know, that was a plus for us. Helped us get out of there a little earlier and uh, was just exciting to watch. I also want to talk about the uh, stoppage, you know, in the main event. Uh, personally, I don't think it was horrible. Cannoneer was stumbling around for, you know, quite some time. I think they could have, you know, maybe let it keep going, but he was stumbling for a while. And, uh, you know, people's lives are on the line on this. Uh, and it's it's hard to be a ref, so I don't think it was horrible. Sucks for him, but... uh. You know, that's just how it goes. And lastly, a little unrelated to the event, but uh, spend some time with your parents. Uh, I was lucky enough to go down there with my dad, uh, and I was just really thankful for that. You know, I don't I don't think I spent enough time with my parents. And, uh, you know, if you don't have parents that beat you or are, like, horrible or if they're still alive, uh, I think you should take, you know, some time to spend some time with them, go do something neat with them, because they're not going to be around forever. And, uh... You know, you're going to miss them someday, so that's just something I, I would, that's my little piece of advice. Try to spend some time with your parents.